So, Cloud, you were a soldier first class, right? Yeah. Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. Oh. Wow. Uh. Your eyes. Yes, Aerith is an ancient. Probably the last one living. You know you're not just any little girl. You're a descendant of the ancients. You're wrong! I'm not an ancient! When we're older, and you're a famous soldier, if I'm ever trapped or in trouble, promise you'll come and save me. Sephiroth. Soldiers? I'm sick of this! I'm sick of all of this! I've never been so proud. Women must be hounding you day and night. I'd really love to stay and chat, but we gotta go. So soon? Got more pizza in the oven? I'll take another wedge! Looky here, boys! Burglars! Tifa! I'm coming for you! Viciously! Without mercy! Until they vomit blood! You seek my approval, do you? I should warn you. Huh? Tails, you lose. Give it back! Give it back. Are you going? I'm sorry, honey. I wish I didn't have to. Shinra has confirmed the reactor to be the target of the bomb threat. Shinra has decided they ought to stamp them out. The sky is falling, and Avalanche is to blame. But I work for Shinra. I'm the enemy. I don't care. Greetings and welcome. Avalanche, I presume. You mean you're not here to give President Shinra his comeuppance? I've also drafted a re- That will not be needed. Huh? Two words, Reeve. Neo Midgar. Come on, let's push it past the red line! Stop them, you fools! Don't let them escape! They're going to drop the fate on us? Yes. Whispers, perhaps best described as arbiters of fate. No, you don't! Not when I'm working! I promise you will regret this. The sector in which you stand has been condemned. You're a soldier, aren't you? Which, of course, would mean that I own you. Through suffering, you will grow strong. Isn't that what you want? <gasps> Come on, you see the piece of shit we drive in here? Says the 300-pound sack of it. Hey! Honor, freedom, vain indulgences everywhere. Every time the whispers touch me, I lose something, a part of myself. Tonight marks a new beginning. For Shinra! This could well be her last line of defense. Let's go. Let us defy destiny. Together. Cloud, there's still so much to be done. This evil will consume our world 
and the countless worlds beyond. Unless you rise to meet it. A trial by fury and blood. Who seek the source of death itself. Prepare yourselves. They are here. I'd like to introduce a game that we've been working on for the past few years called Maquette. It's a first-person puzzle game set in a world that is nested inside of itself recursively. The player will use these nested recursive worlds to solve a completely unique set of puzzles. Let me show you how this works. Here you can see this big castle, an ornate dome over here, and these towers. The orange cube is blocking our way to the towers. I can't pick it up or move it because it's too big and heavy. But if we go inside this dome, you'll see we have a smaller version of the same world. You can see a smaller castle, ornate dome, towers, and a smaller version of the cube. An exact copy of the larger world is nested inside of the small world. Because this cube is much smaller, we can pick it up and move it around. And when we do that, we can see it gets moved in the regular sized world as well. Now that we have moved the large cube out of the way, we can access that area of the game. Anything that we do in the small world is reflected in the regular world around us. There are a lot of exciting implications to this. It's running in real time, so if we drop the cube here, you can actually see the larger version moving in the regular world. And if you look very closely in the background, you can see another, even larger cube moving in a larger world out there. We have a simulation on all these levels of recursion. That was a simple example, but we can do some really cool stuff in unexpected ways using recursion. Here we have a key that we can use to open this door. Once we get inside, we see we have a gap too large to cross by jumping. Maquette asks you to think about new ways to use ordinary objects. In this case, the solution is to take this key, which is tiny, and bring it into the maquette. By placing it across the gap, it can be used as a full-sized bridge in the regular-sized world. We can also take that same key, make it larger, place it on the wall, and now use it as a ramp to get out of the regular sized world into an even larger world. The game will take you to these worlds and beyond to a larger world where tiny cracks and walls become doorways to enter new areas. These puzzles lead the player through a love story about two people growing together. You will explore the scale of everyday problems in a modern relationship where sometimes the smallest of issues can become insurmountable obstacles. And that's Maquette, a totally unique puzzle experience. We're really excited for you to play this on PlayStation 5 as well as PlayStation 4. Hello, planet Earth. I'm Eva Tyson, and joining me is one of my colleagues, Dr. Grant Moon. Hi. Our ship is here to analyze a very special wave of radiation. But what makes this radiation so special is that it has no discernible source. Wait. Oh my god. Impact. 
Location unknown. This planet is almost 800,000 light years from Earth. We're in the middle of the most fascinating scientific opportunity in history. Are you seeing this? It's alien. How long do you think it's been here? A lot longer than us. Which could mean one of two. Blades. For the fate of your entire people is up to you.